to be happy. Jai Radha Madhava Jai Kunj Bihari Jai Radha Madhava Jai Kunj Bihari Jai Radha Madhava Jai Kunj Bihari जय गोपी जनवल्लभा गिरिवरधारी जय गोपी जनवल्लभा गिरिवरधारी जय यशोदा नंदना ब्रज जनरंजना यशोदा नंदना ब्रज जनरंजना Yashodananda na braja jana ranjana Yashodananda na braja jana ranjana Jamuna tira vanchari Jamuna tira vanchari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunj Bihari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunj Bihari Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Jaya Jaya Prabhupad, 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 Prabhupad. Jaya Prabhupad, 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 Prabhupad. Jaya Jaya Gurudev Shri Pad. Gurudev Shri Pad. Jaya Gurudev Shri Pad. Gurudev Shri Pad. Nitai Gaur Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol. Nitai Gaur Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol. Jai Shri Radha Madha Bhagavan Ki Jai. Jai Lakshmi Narsing Bhagavan Ki Jai. Jai. जय श्री गौर निताय की जय जगत गुरु श्रीला प्रभुपाद की जय पति पावन श्रीपाद महाराज की जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव रिंदे की जय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाया ओम नमो ओम नमो
ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जया मुदीर ये नष्ट प्रायु अभद्रेशु नष्ट प्रायु अभद्रेशु भागवत सेवया नित्यम भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके उत्तम श्लोके भक्ति भवती नैष्ठी की भक्ति भवती नैष्ठी चाय हो welcome everyone today we are going to study three shlokas from canto 6 chapter 18 <clears throat> 50 51 and 52 na uchhishta asprishta salila sandhyaya mukt murdhaja anar अनर्चिता संयता वाक ना संवीत बहिश्चरे स्ट्रेट डाइव इन टू द ट्रांसलेशन एंड पर्पट बाय जगत गुरु श्रीला प्रभुपाद जगत गुरु श्रीला प्रभुपाद की जाए ट्रांसलेशन आफ्टर ईटिंग यू शुड नॉट गो आउट टू द स्ट्रीट विदाउट हैविंग वॉश्ड योर माउथ हैंड्स एंड फीट you should not go out in the evening or with your hair loose nor should you go out unless you are properly decorated with ornaments you should not leave the house unless you are very grave and are sufficiently covered purport kashyap muni advised his wife not to go out onto the street unless she was well decorated and well dressed he did not encourage the mini skirts that have have now become fashionable in oriental civilization when a man, when a woman goes out onto the street she must be fully covered so that no man will recognize who she is all these methods are to be accepted for purification if one takes to krishna consciousness one is fully purified and thus one remains always transcendental to the contamination of the material world next nadhavat pada prayata narad pada udakshiraha saita na parana nanyer na nagna na cha sandhya sandhyaya ho sandhyaya ho translation you should not lie down without having washed both of your feet or without being purified nor with wet feet or with your head pointed west or north you should not lie naked or with other women or during the sunrise or sunset 52 davat vasa suchir nityam sarva mangala samyuta पूजयेत प्रातराशाग गोविप्राण श्रिय अच्युत गोविप्राण श्रिय अच्युत ट्रांसलेशन पुटिंग ऑन वॉश्ड क्लोदिंग बीइंग ऑलवेज प्योर एंड बीइंग एडॉन विथ टर्मेरिक 
sandalwood pulp and other auspicious items before breakfast one should worship the cows the brahmanas the goddess of fortune and the supreme personality of godhead purport if one is trained to honor and worship the cows and brahmanas he is actually civilized the worship of the supreme lord is recommended and the lord is very fond of the cows and brahmanas namo brahman devaya go brahman hitaya cha in other words a civilization in which there is no respect for the cows and brahmanas is condemned one cannot become spiritually advanced without acquiring the brahmanical qualifications and giving protection to cows cow protection ensures sufficient food prepared with milk which is needed for an advanced civilization one should not pollute civilization by eating the flesh of cows a civilization must do something progressive and then it is an aryan civilization instead of killing the cow to eat flesh civilized men must prepare various milk products that will enhance the condition of society if one follows a brahmanical culture he will become competent in krishna consciousness oma gyanti mirandasya gyananjan salakya ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೇಶ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ್ ಗದಾಧರ್ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಾದಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಆಲ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವ ವೈಷ್ಣವೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗ್ಯಾದರಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ to bless me profusely so that i can speak and share little bit whatever i know about these facts i don't know anything but a uh, little bit whatever i know i'll share so in these uh, shlokas actually kashyap muni is uh, is uh, talking about a vow and the various tenets of that vow that vrata which mata ditti is supposed to undertake and she will because she is determined to annihilate indra but uh, lord is determined to protect indra so kashyap muni is in kind of a predicament is a dilemma what to do but since kashyap muni is is a devotee himself is a muni so he knows a way out the way out is to use this uh, material temptations as a bait to somehow trap the living entity into the wonderful process of bhakti so these different uh, limbs of uh, the various austere austere processes actually t- actually austerity itself is uh, not bhakti i mean this uh, bathing or uh, sleeping in this direction this actually are not direct bhakti because bhakti is only navadha there are only nine limbs of bhakti ಶ್ರವಣ ಕೀರ್ತನ ವಿಸ್ಮರಣ ವಂದನ ಪಾದ ಸೇವನ ದಾಸ್ಯಂ ಸಖಿ ಜನ ಆತ್ಮ ನಿವೇದನ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ನೈನ್ ಲಿಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಬಟ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಮೇ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ಸಿಲರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವಾಟ್ ಡು ವಿ ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು stay in uh, sattvic guna 
and uh, sattvic guna is most of the time not contradictory to devotional service because it is seen a person with a sattvic guna he is uh, quite favorable to extending hospitality at least to vaishnavas to to receive them to respect them he possesses a mindset because uh, vaishnavas they have uh, actually a transcendental qualities but uh, the sattvic qualities they are uh, uh, acting like servants of vaishnavas pure devotees so this uh, person who is following austerity in hence is sufficiently situated in sattvic mode he gets attracted by the sattvic qualities of that vaishnava the transcendent transcendental qualities may not appeal to him but definitely the sattvic qualities in vaishnavas are something which kind of uh, attract him and trap him and he's uh, he's attracted to vaishnavas and that's it when one is attracted to vaishnavas then that's the idea that's the that's it i mean from there uh, uh separate journey starts like um, so for example if uh, one is uh, attracted to uh, a very kami person then he will definitely succumb to peril his peril right uh, one is one is uh, similarly one when he is attracted by sattvic qualities even sattvic qualities uh, of uh, vaishnavas he will definitely be one find very soon he will be attracted to the sadhutva of that sadhu and uh, he will become serious in uh, sadhu quality and uh, devotional activity so here these uh, vows and all these things there are numerous kind of austerities which have been prescribed in our uh, vedic uh, literature in our shastra and they all should be used as ancillaries of hari bhakti so therefore it is say that go vipran shriyam achyutam achyutam at last means it, at last they all should be used as a as a kind of a, as our uh, assistants uh, they all should become assistants of the real objective the real objective is our attitude towards vaishnavas so that's why when it is said that you should perform this 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 is it will make you pure bhagwan also says that uh, the act of charity the act of daan and all these things must be carried out because they purify even the sadhus in one shloka and bhagavad gita says and then there are many such injunctions wherein it is said you should not perform sinful activity you should not perform this activity so we should understand what's a real real motto of uh, these do's and don'ts so the idea is if one is performing lot of sinful activities it will not be long when he actually succumbs to offenses also because if one is uh, performing sinful activities he is listening more to his senses rather rather than the calls of vaishnavas and the demands of vaishnavas or the uh, various uh, things a vaishnava may need his guru maharaj may need so he does not attend he because sinful propensity means his attention toward that direction will be more and this gem will be lesser and lesser and lesser and one fine day he may actually start saying no to his guru maharaj guru maharaj is calling him no guru maharaj no 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 vaishnavas are calling no no so this no knows then finally they translate into offenses and then offenses they are real problems in our devotional growth so therefore sinful activities they are avoided in the very first place they are like uh, nipping nipping it in the bud we should nip it in the bud so that uh, so that our attention towards uh, 
Vaishnavas and Guru Maharajis, it is not ever <clears throat> hurt. That is the idea behind not performing sinful activities. And uh, what is the idea behind performing pious activities? The same, so that uh, when, you are, when we are performing, even the sadhus become pure. What is the meaning behind it? It is the meaning is that our our attention towards Vaishnavas become more more and more um, conducive, focused, more and more focused. Right, our to to paramhamsas to pure devotees, our attention becomes more and more tuned. And uh, because when we are performing such acts of intermittent charity, our charity should mostly be for pure Vaishnavas, uh, to devotees, but sometimes intermittently we can perform uh, other kind of uh, charity which are in material sense, they are called as dan, like to some poor person, to helping person, to beggar, because it will soften our heart. Once uh, Parampuja Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Maharaj Prabhupada was visiting, I guess, Sakshi Gopal Temple, and uh, he was uh, followed by his disciples. So, one disciple, so some beggars, they were uh, thronging and they were asking for uh, some uh, aid some arms but uh, one grihastha who was quite very rich he was not giving anything to them so saraswati thakurji he kind of reprimanded him why are you not giving to them well i am not giving to them because uh, they will use it for this this and uh, i want to do everything for you guru maharaji for temple and all these things he, that uh, devotee grihastha was telling but saraswati thakurji says if you don't give to these needy people, your heart will become hard. And uh, our heart becomes hard, you know. Yes, yes it, is, it is true. If we, if we just think that I'm a Vaishnava, these are not Vaishnavas. Why should I help them? A poor person may actually be very needy. Right? So intermittently, if not always, to soften our heart, we should do that. But why should we soften our heart? For ourselves? But when did we, have, when did we become the real, real, uh, what shall I say, real uh, beneficiary? Uh, after all, definitely our beneficiary because we will be benefited. But the the object for which or for whom we are actually softening our heart is not we directly, but something and someone else. That someone is Vaishnava and that something is our attitude towards Vaishnavas. Because if our heart is not soft enough, then uh, certainly the offensive mentality, it will creep in one fine day. So the idea is these do's, do's and don'ts, they actually become ancillaries, right? Ancillary, what is the meaning of ancillary? Ancillary means they are not essentially the parts of a process, but as a, what, is a, what shall I say? Being outside, they still can be added as adjuncts, as a helping aids. So therefore, these uh, various uh, austerities and vratas are there. But uh, actually, a devotee, uh, devotee is uh, far more than a vrata, it's a seva to Guru Maharaj is, is having in itself the fulfillment of all the vratas. So one should have a complete faith in that process. So in a nutshell, I have tried to, I've kind of uh, tried to 
share with uh, share with all of you the the significance of all these do's and don'ts these austerities and uh, what to do and what not to do so coming back to our present shlokas uh, i don't have much scientific meaning and scientific significance but i am i am quite very sure but each and every such do's and don'ts have a scientific uh, explanation also because in present world everyone wants scientific explanation uh, everyone wants a rational explanation how it can affect our health that's uh, and it will definitely have a positive effect on our health because if someone is doing something to please krishna his total holistic growth will be there which comprises also his uh, physical health so people in generally in general they are inclined towards or motivated by their health physical health physical and mental health and definitely financial financial health also so uh, they want uh, such a rational ex explanation uh, so i think uh, our uh, sitanath prabhu ji was very much interested in such uh, researches wherein we could actually be able to give them some rational explanation behind these uh, processes also this may be one activity which bi might be interested in to give uh, and in this way in this way entrap them uh, you know if uh, we should definitely show some this kind of explanation and uh, people will be attracted and once they are attracted to this process then they will one find they will be attracted to us and from us to shripad maharaj and prabhupad and then all the way to krishna so for example uh, this uh, for example here kashyap muni has uh, explained to mata diti seven don'ts for uh, going out of your home and eight don'ts for sleeping routine so for example he is saying that you should not uh, sleep with your head pointed towards west or north so one explanation that uh, comes to my mind and i have heard many times that there is some magnetic flow from this to this place i think north to south right some magnetic flow is there so you would like to align your body in in some direction of that flow otherwise it will have some adverse reaction on your uh, body and i think they have done some research on that also so therefore it is enjoined that we ensure that we when when we are sleeping when we are lying our head be towards either south direction or uh, east well the spiritual reason is uh, that uh, our um, all the deities deities they are kept on east direction right so therefore our head should be in the east direction not west but uh, people in general they are not interested in the spiritual reason no problem we have got material reasons also which they call as signs so they should follow that so that at least they are in mode of goodness by following all these things they should be in mode of uh, goodness so one should not go out without having washed his, his mouth hands and feet these are not only for uh, mata ji these are for everyone that uh, one should when one is going out he should look very grave because he is exposing himself to the crowd to everyone especially devotees devotees should look very grave very neat tidy grave and uh, yeah clean silent yeah here kashyap muni ji is saying that diti you should always be covered with ornaments and dress but a devotee should be covered with uh, uh tilak if not tilak then at least he should be covered he should be wearing the beautiful ornament of a 
transcend until smile on his face then uh, he should be covered at least uh, there should be something on the top some kanti mala or brahmanas they wear uh, munj janeu sacred thread something should be there so that that appearance itself evokes in the heart of others a pure feeling an attraction towards this culture krishna conscious culture right very clean he should not look like as if some ghost is coming <laughs> otherwise people and uh, by his appearance only whenever he goes in the market to buy something or to meet someone people should be attracted so whenever he is going uh, in public you know so we should be very careful when we go out because our actions they may kind of um, they they may people may be deter they may deter they may dissuade people to follow what we are following okay and you should not leave the house unless you are very grave and are sufficiently covered so i am just uh, touching on these points and i am pretty sure during the discussion people can come forward and they can explain the some rational scientific reason scientific reasons behind these things second is yeah i was sleeping uh, one thing i have already shared yeah sleeping is so sleeping is private thing going out is public thing in private when we are in private we should not think that we are not being watched uh, there is nothing called as private right even though these human eyes may not be watching us but then there are demigodly eyes which who was which are watching us and definitely parmatma is watching us so when sleeping we should follow all these uh, things that uh, before sleeping we should wash our feet and uh, what else is there yeah wash our feet and um, our bed sheets our bed should be clean and uh, and what else is there yeah west or north we should not point our head towards those direction we should not lie we should definitely be dressed while we are sleeping and one thing yeah during sunrise or sunset we should not sleep that is uh, very important one reason is given someone told me that during those time during sunset it is a time of this shiv gana this uh, shiv gana so if you are they find us sleeping during that hour they may actually uh possess us and that will be very disturbing but uh, one spiritual reason is that uh, these times sunrise and such sunset here in these times i guess definitely in sunrise but i think in sunset also mode of goodness is in plenty is in abundance so we can as well utilize that time for uh, bhajan kriya yes during that time bhajan kriya can be done um sunrise or sunset yes and then we come to gau seva go seva yesterday what a coincidence yesterday bi bhuvneshwar organized a talk by our ram jivan prabhu from ndri bangalore so ram jivan prabhu he works in dairy national dairy institute Re- national dairy research institute i have visited in bangalore they are having so many cows so many cows are there and uh, i think they are all indian breed beautiful cows white cows i think i visited around 5 uh, years back it is just next to my company just at a walking distance so there ram jivan prabhu ji was uh, walking through that uh, campus so yesterday he was telling various uh, good things about uh, 
cow milk how cow milk is laden with uh, loaded with uh, antioxidants antibodies and uh, vitamins vitamin b12 vitamin d because these two vitamins are something which uh, vegetarians definitely suffer their deficiencies suffer from their deficiencies so for these vegetarians milk milk is like a boon cow milk is like a boon for everyone actually because wo bata rahe the ki cow milk mein anti cancer substance bhi hote hain aur anti radicals sorry antioxidants hote hain jo ki ye baad mein cancer ban jate hain to ye antioxidants jo hote hain wo हमारे अंदर जो ये होते हैं फ्री रेडिकल्स उनको फिनिश थे यस इफ आई एम राइट सो काउ मिल्क इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वॉट एल्स यू आर शेयरिंग यस यू वॉज ऑल्सो शेयरिंग दैट काउ मिल्क इज द ओनली मिल्क विच कैन बी गिवेन टू टू एन इनफेंट वेन मदर्स मिल्क इज नॉट अवेलेबल सो देर फॉर काउ इज अवर मदर cow is definitely our mother she is uh, uh doing a selfless job what a machinery krishna has made in the form of cow she eats grass and fodder and uh, from her udders come comes this nectar of uh, milk cow milk which is which is actually a nectar so everyone is supposed to drink cow milk or if not cow milk at least curd cow milk item if one is suffering from high cholesterol then he can have skimmed milk he can boil the milk in his home four five times and take out the malai from top of it and then he can definitely savor the skimmed milk uh some information i have no more than uh, 500 ml of milk a day in that 500 ml me paneer and curd all these things should be he should definitely have milk items cow milk but nowadays in cities is a2 milk is very famous ah uh, yesterday he was also telling that how a2 milk is better than a1 uh he was telling a2 milk also it is becoming very famous in uh cities so that is also very important and also there is something uh, which uh, is not in shlokas but i think i must share with you just uh, daily this sun bathing is also very important uh <clears throat> through the back and through the navel 30 minutes to for these uh, fair complexion one 20 minutes is enough but for dark ones because they have got a covering of melanin so they need a higher exposure so maybe 40 minutes to 1 hour of sunbathing and with brisk walking generally what i do when this bhagavatam class is going on in the morning i put the uh, earphones in my ears and uh uh with a uh, with a uh, back and the upper body exposed to sun i just walk so briskly in my terrace on my terrace so i'm essentially doing three things uh so i'm doing three things at <laughs> in one go which otherwise would take 3 hours i'm accomplishing all those things in one hour walking briskly is good for health sun bathing is good for vitamin d yeah yeah vitamin d and uh, listening to bhagavatam is good for uh, soul so therefore a devotee's life should be centered like this it should be very smart it should be very smart you should know how to utilize the time so but yes definitely uh, 40 minutes to 1 hour of exposure to sunlight before 9 am is very very important 
for vegetarians okay so therefore there is a uh, go seva i will take only one minute one minute is remaining yeah go seva is very important sometimes i wish and sitanath prabhu ji was also saying if we have this uh, culture of uh, the, uh, if we have uh, this uh, economy on cow based economy you know uh, so we can definitely get some nice funds for our bi and this is one seva which i am pretty sure all of you all of us are very much will be interested in everyone will like to invest so we can think in that direction it will be such a nice thing to do and now people are actually understanding the importance of a to milk especially in cities so market is hot so if someone wants to uh, go in that direction uh, i think uh, he must not uh, observe any delay thank you very much today i have shared only facts but uh, i hope i made some sense hari krishna was it audible yes because sometimes this network na you know, it kind of hangs hey krishna prabhu dhanur pram who are you oh sanatan prabhu i thought someone yeah. asked a question yes yes your voice is breaking second today your voice is breaking हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी धन्यवाद धन्यवाद प्रणाम हरे कृष्ण like i would like to ask this thing please tell when when i was talking my my sound was breaking or it was smoothly flowing it was smooth prabhu ji it was smooth okay okay mm. please continue and you told uh, we should be not to actually your sound is hard. also breaking i am uh, afraid can you able to hear me prabhu ji it was breaking sometimes it breaks mm. keep okay. speaking okay as you told uh, we should not be too art towards uh, anybody like uh, in the in the art like in the sense uh, before i used to give beggars uh, like money something but nowadays i am uh, not seeing at them also that will make you hard yes like how to make it uh, soften also not uh, too soften not too art give them prasad Okay. that you can do or not give them prasad if you are not inclined to give them money give them prasad hmm. because we are living in this material world we are very conditioned and we are it is very easy to develop this hardness in our heart and uh, too much indifference and apathy to these needy people may actually really harden our heart in no time and this hardness will definitely disturb our attitude towards vaishnavas definitely so with joy and uh, we should definitely give prasad uh, to these needy people there is no harm in giving food it will it will make your heart soft and softer Okay. okay like another question yeah. is, is a real life question only like i i will go, uh, like i am going to a goshala like the person the keeper uh, would be taking mm. of the cows like he was asking for the money like in the sense uh, he wanted to take uh, some uh, wine or something i told him i will not uh, give any any money like if you want he was asking money for uh, taking wine Hello, Pravari. Why was he asking me? you for? Because uh, yeah, but... I am visiting uh, there uh, daily, right? Like most of the time, uh -huh. because you know we have got a connection. Yeah. But uh, he was asking money. Yeah. You can uh, help me, right? Yeah. He told me. Like in what sense I can help him? In the sense. Yes. 
you help him by not giving him money he is not a needy person he is a greedy person okay wine is not need okay idea is you should help the needy not greedy okay you should tell him that uh, you should not tell him you should not give him anything you okay. should tell him i don't have money uh okay i got the idea many probably. times many people many times i have seen many devotees they very indiscriminately they just give money to everyone mm-hmm. and then when they don't return when they don't get the money returned then they they develop grudge so then i tell them why did you give money in the first place right you should not you should always use your discrimination you should always use your discrimination uh, uh, to whom to give money to no whom not to give money and that's why propa ji has made a very simple rule whatever you earn immediately 50% should without a single thought immediately immediately you should go to vaishnavas to guru maharaj because if even if you make one second delay in second second we may be having many excuses oh i have to invest there i have to give him i have to give him so 50% should immediately go to and the remaining 50% may also we have to use our discrimination paisa jo hai mehnat se aata hai right yes probably paisa mehnat ki kamai hoti hai usko aise gawana nahi chahiye anything else prabhu and nothing else like i have got the point of your point importance uh, hari thank you thank you sai yeah achit kaise prabhu ji please hari krishna prabhu ji dhanyawad dhanyawad pranam hari krishna acha prabhu in this episode hmm. this kashyap muni is uh, for following the vow he is giving some do's and don'ts Mm. So in devotional life also, uh, you know, we follow some. Uh, sometimes vow is there, or sometimes like chaturmasya, or we follow ekadashi vrata, nirjala vrata. Mm. So does that this following this vows or uh, vrata that it uh, it forms our conviction to follow that path? and if it is like that or means it uh, i mean to say if we can go more deeper level at the consciousness level that mm-hmm. when we perform austerity then our conviction becomes more stronger to uh, uh, pursue that or achieve that goal so if it is like that then devotees are not recommended to follow at least in this age means because our body is conditioned so we can follow some austerity but we cannot follow too much austerity right so then uh, but then uh, definitely for devotees the goal is the highest mm-hmm. means it is highest means following any vows for so how does it both things uh, is like uh, it's like little bit contradictory for me because if you have to for the highest goal what us the more is uh, vows is not we are not focus so much on the vows than our service mm. but yeah. then how this conviction will become strong and also one more question it is short you can explain so what is the ultimate goal of listening bhagavatam or associating with bhagavatas especially what the hearing or speaking when we hear or speak or hear bhagavatam or speak on bhagavatam so what actually we have to lead us thank you prabhu please thank you very much the first question is i'll make an attempt to answer first question is uh, we can follow vows as long as the vows are not coming in our way of गुरु सेवा नियमाग्रह विम्सिकली वी शुड नॉट रिजेक्ट ऑल्सो एंड विम्सिकली वी शुड नॉट एक्सेप्ट इफ द वॉज आर ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिंग अवर गुरु सेवा देन दोज वॉज कैन बी ड्रॉप्ड बिकॉज 
guru seva and we should have this conviction that mam ekam saranam raja ma shucha that if i am serving my guru maharaj i will be protected right right but if someone is thinking that uh, if i don't follow my uh, vows right i'll perish so let me keep aside guru seva for the timing let let me concentrate on the vows so actually then uh, then that uh, devotee is uh, finished i should not say finished but uh, halted for some time so we should definitely there is uh, there is uh, no thin line even between vows and seva seva should always be in our mind and uh, vows are there definitely to uh, make her more uh, form with her. yes you are right because if you are too loose also we may not uh, we may not uh, be very keen on save also that's why i wonder i really appreciate when shila propa ji launched this movement he made very simple rules only four rules and regulations and uh, 16 malas or whatever and he just said ekadashi vrat and just he i have never uh, seen uh, heard shila propa ji or ever found shila propa ji stressing too much on ekadashi vrata or chaturmasya these uh, subsequently devotees came and they made it some devotees made it very hard i every ekadashi i find someone saying you should not eat this you should not eat tomato you should not eat this this you should not eat green so definitely vows mein jayenge there is no end to it to that also but is that our real goal is that our real goal what is our real goal should be uh, guru seva so and uh, so basic idea is we can follow vows as long as they are not disturbing our guru seva his uh, param puja saraswati thakur ji kept saying that uh, if uh, it become important uh, for my disciples to break ekadashi for execution of seva i will not mind instructing them to go and break the ekadashi palan so we have to very much understand the philosophy and then there will be no no such confusion second what was second question what what is the goal of listening bhagavatam the goal of listening bhagavatam is listening bhagavatam that is the goal shravanam kirtanam smaranam ye navadha jo hai ye vidhi nahi hai ye keval sadhan nahi sadhi bhi hai for example when we are chanting uh, hari krishna maha mantra in this uh, material world so when we go to spiritual world does it mean that we will stop chanting no then we will our real chanting will start then uh, when we are hearing this shrimad bhagavatam here so does it mean that in back to god it will stop hearing or the real hearing will start so in sab ka goal to yahi hai ki भागवतम सुनने का गोल यही है श्रवणम का गोल श्रवणम ही है समझ रहे प्रभु जी जितना सुनेंगे उसमें और रस आएगा तो और सुनने का मन करेगा और रस आएगा हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Maharaj. Please. Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Hare Krishna, Sri Ram Prabhu. Yeah. <clears throat> Lot of uh, rules, regulations, and different. You know, uh, my question was regarding uh, the austerity. Uh, you emphasize some. Um, <clears throat> so austerity also. Certain austerity is. Uh, and even this uh, the quotation you made yagya dana tapas chaiva you know pavanani manishina hai so even uh, those things are uh, they are nice things more of goodness you the point which you brought and uh, does it include uh, everyone or uh, this yagya dana tapas is, is the this this acts you know these are also activities uh, Uh, they are uh, everybody is uh, is it 
compulsory for everybody uh, that was my question <laughs> or it depends on the uh, different uh, different kinds of sadhakas bhagwan is recommending and uh, whether it is compulsory for all or not i don't know maharaj ji frankly speaking <laughs> honestly speaking i guess uh, uh, for uh, uh, for pure devotees paramhamsa it may not be compulsory but for practicing one definitely they must uh, intermittently they definitely should do it but that was just a just a guess please correct me if i'm wrong yeah krishna emphasizes that uh, even manishi na you know pavnani manishi na even those who are purified you know, Mm-hmm. how how what we call manishi na manishi means those are totally self controlled you know right. uh, how uh, what is the meaning of uh, manishi na you know pavnani manishi na mahatma ke liye you know even for the great souls uh, uh, this uh, pavnani uh, purifies uh, so when it comes to like a uh, pure devotees of paramhansa so those who are uh, engaged in kevala bhakti exclusive devotion you know? like krishna says uh, something very uh, you you made one statement uh, where uh, you know uh, <coughs> in regard with regard to that uh, <coughs> when krishna says api chet su duracharo bhajate mam ananya bhag correct mm-hmm. in sadhu revas mantavya uh, that uh, uh, it's a, it's almost like contrad a contradiction because uh, what krishna is giving so much uh, honor to those who exclusively worship him because they are properly situated in their consciousness uh, first of all if they are uh, ananya bhag engaged uh, there would be no possibility of uh, duracharya na but yes. even if uh, by circumstances you by any thing sanskar or circumstances if it happens he has to still be considered as uh, sadhu mahatma sadhu and this is a very very powerful statement uh, just along that line we can think of this uh, yagya dana tapas chaiva pavnani manishinam uh, those who have been purified means uh, what kind of purification is needed by the mahatmas mm. you know so just see the contrast is 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 a little uh, contrast i'm trying to uh, Uh, appreciate by krishna then uh, i will have your uh, input you know? that uh, krishna is uh, describing simultaneously that one who is engaged ananya bhag in my bhakti and even if uh, this uh, durachar is uh, he still has to be accepted as a mahatma and here the uh, mahatmas mean they, those, those who have been fully purified but they never claim that they are fully purified mm. you know just to give the boost to their humble attitude and especially uh, even in that uh, fully purified state uh, they perform these things uh, and showing the humility yes we we need constant purification we should never become stagnant in our uh, attitude to become more and more purified so from that point of view uh, even yagya dan tapas chaiva especially Uh, if they are conducive to pure devotional service not not all kind of austerity is not all kind engaging in all kinds of yagyas all kinds of dhanas and uh, uh, austerities yes. but uh, which are uh, which are uh, conducive to pure devotional service you know so the vows when you uh, ekadashi is uh, very dear to krishna Ek- ekadashi is something is called madhav tithi Mm-hmm. so always always encased by all our uh, acharyas and with and the quotation which you uh, used uh, with regard to bhakti siddhanta is thakur that even at the cost of ekadashi one should uh, uh, do the preaching ultimately to please krishna correct so it uh, when direct pleasing the shri guru and krishna is uh, available then uh, and the very purpose of uh, ekadashi is Uh, also krishna generally given the principle that uh, ekadashi is very dear to krishna but uh, pleasing the spiritual master is uh, uh, more pleasing uh, krishna 
so in with that regard <laughs> and uh, but basically um, the grain eating is uh, very much prohibited uh, on a karsi because of certain technical things and uh, many things uh, injunctions but the ultimate purpose of life is to please uh, shri guru and uh, krishna so uh, krishna has given multiple instructions general instructions and the specific instructions so when the ad hoc order or the desire to be fulfilled by krishna and we can oh krishna uh, i am not supposed to eat uh, uh, grains uh, today because you you have described that on ekadashi we should not eat grain or different thing this is mostly general principle in exceptional case if it um, if if it uh, blocks uh, fulfilling the desire of krishna you know or the desire of uh, shri guru then uh, that should not be uh, uh, made so much so yes that was a point in extreme cases suppose someone is hospitalized or uh, someone is in emergency time so we should always you yeah but uh, we, we should also not be lose also with this uh, with these vows and we should not be very tightly gripping them also i like very much like insertion by maharaj when uh, maharaj emphasized this pavitrata uh, of uh, mahatmas uh so i liked it very much maharaj ji lok sangrah ke liye na hmm yes even the fully yes. fixed up devotees uh, for lok sangrah they they do this acharan hmm esa acharan wo karte hain they behave so the others can benefit uh, others don't take it oh uh, wo nahi karte to hum kyu kare wo to mahatma hai like that hmm. so 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 that But way at at uh, at no point of time a neophyte devotee should think that i don't have to do that uh, he should not think that i i i'm i'm not i'm now a devotee so i should not uh, uh now i am free of this uh, karmic uh, activities material activities so i don't have to give to this poor person needy person because i think uh, that will definitely make him hard and uh, that is not very conducive actually that yes. that feeling that i now i am i am a devotee i am accept i am initiated so why i have to indulge in this uh, material activities uh, of of giving to these needy people <clears throat> yeah uh, definitely and krishna categorizes the four stages of devotional so called devotion in, in 12 chapter of bhagavad gita 7 to 11 you know 7 8 9 10 in five five shlokas and uh, he is giving lot of uh, options to arjuna depending on and through arjuna to different people somehow to uh, to be able to please krishna some about other if not directly indirectly not this way that way and so uh, even pavanani manishi nam krishna has the same connotation that even those who are fully purified you know they uh, they whatever is uh, useful for uh, pleasing krishna because krishna has given many instruction in bhagavatam uh, 12 11 canto to uddhav ji what things pleases him you know what things please him and so uh, certain things uh, uh, thinking of krishna's pleasure uh, he does not uh, uh, run away from uh, donating or daan or austerity or uh, vows something which is uh, or any devotee per se uh, um, he 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 would never claim that he uh, is he is pure enough rather uh, he is anything uh, but pure and that attitude uh, boosts his uh, participation in this wonderful thing yes maharaj is a part of the uh, of course in the stage, in the stage of uh, um, sadhakas um these are dan tap and all this they, they are the essential they are the main things and uh, as, far, as far as uh, because otherwise how how one would become detached and uh, uh, become attached to krishna fully 
the sense of detachment has to be cultivated through yagya dan tapa because it requires lot of uh, austerity and lot of uh, sacrifice uh, giving away and uh, coming out of one's uh, comfort zone within the three uh, just self centeredness so when yagya dan tapa it frees you from self centered Yes, and uh, purifies the existence. As long as we are uh, sadhakas, and even siddhas uh, never claim that they have become, they have gone beyond uh, sadhaka. Uh, they they want to act and uh, uh, project themselves as the sadhakas only. So that's why Krishna is just protecting every corner of uh, any sadhaka, because siddha is also sadhaka, na? <clears throat> because siddha is also yes. not discontinuing between our in our uh, line. Uh, sadhana continues because sadhana is also sadhya. Uh, glorifying Krishna is a sadhya. Although it is uh, appears it's sadhana, but it is also sadhya. So for us, uh, these activities uh, never stop. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you, Maharaji. A yes, short while that. ago, our Akrod Prabhu was with us. I could see him and uh, I wanted uh, devotees here to bless him, but I think he has left. So Akrod Prabhu recently he he just uh, uh, bravely he crossed one very dangerous line, but now I think he's uh, he's recovering in safe hands. He's uh, in hospitalized. So let's all pray for him. Mm-hmm. Yes, Anandan Prabhu. Yeah, Prabhuji, we can conclude for today. Jai.